Hi YouTube! That's a big smile on my face because I'm finally back on the road again, traveling and finding interesting places. Uh, this big open area here is the Sweetwater River Valley uh, in Wyoming. And this was, this area was a place where uh, the immigrant trail came through and a lot millions and millions of people on their way to the west coast stopped here um good grazing for their animals water fresh water and the uh there was also a big landmark which is this this is known as Independence Rock. The uh, mainly be, they get that name because the uh, ideally you would leave the Missouri River and you would be here before the Fourth of July. Uh, so a lot of times they uh, would get here and celebrate the Fourth in this spot. Now, some people have called this inscription rock because a lot of the settlers came through, like, in, within 30 years, a half a million people came by here, and they would chisel their names in or paint them on with tar. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find a few. A lot of them were or up above so hopefully the rock isn't too slippery from the rain but we will check this out now if you look really close right here you'll see old Oregon Trail that was done by a man named um, Ezra Meeker. He came through here in 1852 and he was instrumental in preserving this and turning it into a National Historic Site and uh, a, a State Historic Site. So uh, he died in 1926, so he lived a long life. Let's keep looking and see what we can find. A lot of the names were carved in and painted with tar. And of course, the tar has weathered away in the last 150 years. Um, but you can find some that are chiseled deep in. I think there's some up there. Or though there's a fenced in area over here, so maybe we'll some in behind there. Let's take a look. All this small area back in the fenced in area looks like they've powered washed off a lot of the uh the lichen so we can actually see some of the deep carvings in here and the, the brass or i mean yeah brass plaques that got put up uh over the years but i mean yeah, if you look up there Right up in that area, there's some that are carved in that aren't aren't cleaned off, but that's an area where it looks like it'd be pretty easy to, to climb up in. Uh, some of these were done as early as uh, 1840. A um, Catholic priest came through here and uh, commented on the fact that people were uh, putting their names and such on here um, somewhere and I'm not sure where and uh, Fremont came through on one of his expeditions to California he had carved a giant uh, cross in the rock and uh, a few years later 
a bunch of settlers uh, came through and obliterated it, blasted it, shot it, did all kinds of things to get get that off of the rock because they felt that the a cross was uh, Catholic and uh, there was a, a lot of resentment at that time uh, of Catholics. Strange things in is that uh, Fremont was actually Episcopalian. So uh, it had nothing to do with the Pope. It was more just his uh, Christian religion. There's a cool cave up there, but I'm not going to try to scramble up. From what I understand, some of the inscriptions uh, up in there might be a little more protected from the weather. Let's see if I can find a way to get up to the top. So on the, the back side, this is a wildlife management area. They do run cows out through here, so you got to watch where you're walking. But uh, definitely deer or antelope uh, are around. I'm not sure. It could be rabbit, but the piles seem to be too big for a rabbit. But then again, what do I know? Western rabbits. But the backside, it's a little bit less of a pitch. So I should be able to get up this. I know people have the desire to be part of history, but really, I don't think, well, they, they tell you not to do this, and I agree. If I was, had come 2,000 miles on a trail in uh, the mid 1800s, and I had a right to do this, I'm sure these people just drove up in their car, came back in here and did this. And then, you know, that's the newest one, there's somebody over here, the Hendersons from 1980. I mean, really? Somebody named Sherman, in 1884. And over here, there's some more, I'm not sure of the dates. And again, people, 82, 1982, this is ridiculous. Here's a, a mess of them, and you can really sort of tell the older ones right off just by the, the difference in the font and so on. And what's cool is there's a snake skin, and it's a big snake. There are rattlesnakes around here, so I'm a little leery, but... So just about 10 miles away from Independence Rock is this natural pass through the mountains. And the immigrants that came through here named it the Devil's Gate. I can sort of see why they would come up with that name. Women, we will do 